Hello. Um, today I'm going to finish off my uh, uh, discussions of the uh, Predator movies with um, the prequel Prey, um, which is only on Hulu, so I don't have a physical copy to show. Um, but uh, this is uh, the one I'm very most, uh, like, the most unfamiliar with. And so, as a result, I'm sort of, uh, have to sort of just, you know, I've tried to see all I can behind the scenes stuff of it, just to uh, have some more interesting insight, and, uh, it's quite interesting, honestly, just to, I guess, see a prequel in general to the Predator films, because, you know, Prequels generally haven't always been seen as the greatest uh, thing. Of course, there are some prequels that are very good and some that aren't so good. Um, and depending on your point of view of some of the prequels, uh, films and such that uh, exist, some are either just as good as the ones that preceded it, um, or they're not very good at all. Um, I've uh, always, I've always um, been pretty uh, uh, appreciative and discussed highly of the Star Wars prequels. That's me. I enjoy them. Um, but you know, I was wondering about a uh, Predator prequel because you know they're either you know because you know because the Predator films, you know. There are some entries that aren't as strong as others. You know, the first one I think is the best, followed by the third, and then the second, and then the fourth. So when a fifth one uh, was announced and being a prequel, I was sort of, I, I'm sure like everyone else, sort of curious as to would it be just as good as the ones that are enjoyed as much or not and so going into this film you know it's like you know uh, yeah uh, you know worst case scenario uh it's sort of on par with the predator maybe a little above it or so but um yeah, I, I haven't watched this as many times as the other films, so I don't know where I would put it in the ranking, but probably somewhere in the middle. I don't know if I would put it above Predators, just again because I've seen that film more than Prey. But who knows, maybe if time as time goes on, I might enjoy it more than Predators, but uh, so far I would probably just put it under Predators and then put two and uh, four underneath prey uh, sort of tentatively uh, as of now but yeah I enjoyed this film um, well I enjoyed it the first time I saw it and yeah, re-watching it um, it's directed by Dan Trachtenberg um, who's who made a uh, like uh, Cloverfield Lane Field 10 Lane or something of the sort, but the second Clover Lane or, or Cloverfield film. Now I'm getting everything confused, but the second Cloverfield uh, movie, film, which I actually haven't seen, which might shock some people, though part of that is because I wasn't the biggest fan of the first Cloverfield. It was kind of eh. Some moments of Cloverfield, the first one, were fine, but I don't know. I just didn't see the second film. I've heard it's better than the first, so maybe I should give it a try at some point. Um, but Prey, uh, you know, follows uh, 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 two Comanche uh, uh, siblings in the plains. Uh, and I have some notes here just because, you know, and I'm not completely familiar with everybody in this film, so... A lot of these people were 
pretty brand new to me and I have to say everybody did a great job um, acting wise so we'll probably look into other things they've done just to see uh, what their other works are uh, but um, Amber Mid Thunder plays uh, uh, Nero um, who is a medicine woman for the tribe uh, and, and they're in the Great Plains so somewhere in America, maybe near, could be near uh, Canada too, because uh, along the way we see some French trappers. But of course, you know, could have been also come across Canada and gone through into like the, it would be like the uh, America, United States of America, um, or would later become, I guess I should say, uh, uh, some states, but. You know, uh, and you know she wants to be a hunter, and um, uh, her brother uh, Tom, a played by Dakota uh, Beaver, uh, Beavers, uh, he's uh, somebody who is looked up to like as a warrior and a, uh, like a good hunter, and you know she wants to be a uh, uh, you know a hunter as well, um, and not just. Uh, a medicine, a woman who has medicine is good at bad, you know, she like to do more. She's also good at tracking, which uh, would help with hunting, obviously. And throughout the film, we see, uh, you know, the predator, um, uh, or called a feral predator in this film. It comes down and she, uh, uh, narrows, she sees clouds coming in a lot of thunder and sees something like in the sky and then we see later on uh, the ship uh, it like seems to have like its back door open for the predator to come down and just uh, and then the ship leaves and you know the predator for a good chunk of the film is invisible and so, uh, throughout the film, uh, we see it kill various animals, such as a rattlesnake, and killed, uh, <clears throat> kills a bear, and then gets blood all over it, which Nero sees. And, um, yeah, it's very interesting just to see this sort of dynamic with the predator like this early on it's just it's just amazing I think uh, that the film really does a great job in um, uh, setting the tone for the film and just uh, how very uh, uh, brutal uh, this uh, predator is you know uh, especially considering you know uh, there's a lot of like uh, spears and arrows and then we do see guns. It's, you know, of course, you know, the 1700s, so the guns aren't like what we'd see in the uh, previous films, where they're more modern. Uh, so, uh, and some of the, I guess, the Predator's weaponry would be seen as primitive. There's like some, like, uh, darts, and it's... It's just really cool to see this predator and just how it looks and just uh, how it takes for, it takes quite some time for us to see what the predator actually looks like, not just uh, invisible. And I think it was like 50 minutes in or so. This film's about uh, like 100 minutes or yeah, about 100 minutes, so an hour and 40. So about 50 minutes in, you finally get to see what the uh, what this predator looks like you know so about halfway and it, it's it looks quite gnarly <laughs> I guess that's the best way to describe it it's just really cool and uh, you know um, yeah uh, Nero wants to uh, find this uh, 
predator on her own, so she leaves and uh, some of her tribe goes and looks for her, including her brother. And so when they finally find her, you know, they're like waiting for her brother and, you know, so they could all meet up and just head back to their tribe. But uh, before they can do that, the predator uh, begins to kill them and doesn't kill her because you know she's not armed uh, though she does have like a yeah you know, like a, a hatchet and uh, which she uh, at a certain point uh, makes into like a have like a like a rope uh, around it so she can pull it back if she throws it and uh, which comes in handy at various points in the film like when uh, she's with the French tra uh, trappers, you know, she uses it effectively and kills them uh, pretty efficiently, and it's, you know, it's that, that, that sequence in the film is really cool. Uh, that's something I like, and then, of course, you know, but it's, uh, it's just something that's really cool to see how uh, this, uh, uh, this film is sort of like shows us like an early uh, you know an early predator on earth um, and of course there could have been predators prior to this one but you know this one is uh, and of course other parts of the world so uh, I'm curious if uh, there will be a sequel to this um, or if there is another follow up which will still be a prequel, but maybe like the century uh, after this. I mean, uh, who knows? I'm just a. Uh, uh, I, I like the world that they had for this film and just how sort of gritty uh, they were able to get this film to be. Um, you know. This came out last year, obviously, so a lot of people have already seen this. But on the off chance, I guess it's because it is still fairly new. I'm not going to say all what happens, but like the end. But it's really cool just to see how all this unfolds. And if they did do a sequel to this, um, be it with some of the same characters or, uh, you know, some decades later or a century later, you know, whenever. And if they just continue to have another prequel before they do maybe a follow-up to, like, The Predator, um, I'd be all for it. Um, because this franchise is really cool and really fun, even in some of the not-as-stellar sequels, let's say, um, that one would typically uh, rank amongst the best. Um, I still find some enjoyment, even though, you know, when looking back at these from a standpoint, there are uh, the ones that are obviously the ones that are the most loved, and then there are the ones that aren't as enjoyed, um, or perhaps seen as good as the others, but, um, the first one I think has the best in terms of the the sort of sense of horror that the, the rest of the franchise doesn't really have. Uh, they sort of go back to it in Predators, and some of the moments in Prey have them. And I'm not to say that too, and uh, the Predator didn't try to have a sense of horror to them, like with the suspense. It just wasn't as prominent in those films um, compared to the other th those other three. Um, and with Prey, you know, I think considering the time period this film sets is set in, uh, suspense and such is uh, uh, very well done. Um, again, the horror aspect might not be there, but uh, I don't think that's a major problem. Um, the one little spoiler I will say is by the end of the film, 
uh, Nehru uh, is given a gun by somebody who she, you know, helps. Um, leg or foot is cut off and she goes and uh, gives him some medicine for it. And he uh, teaches her how to use a, a pistol and how to like pour powder and put the ball and all that and like not too much powder and yeah he, he teaches her how to use it and then um you know it comes in handy later on and by the end of the film when we see it it's the the pistol that Danny Glover is given at the end of uh Predator 2 uh basically and um Uh, I'm pretty sure it is, at least, because, um, though, of course, you know, in that film, the Predators have it, so, at some point, uh, clearly, uh, that gun gets taken back by, uh, the Predators, and so, while, you know, they go and, uh, typically collect, like, the skulls of these, uh, uh, creatures on various uh, uh, planets that they go to to hunt. Um, they go and, uh, uh, I guess, collect uh, some weapons, such as that uh, a pistol. And so that's sort of another reason why I'm curious if they will have a follow-up to this film, maybe to show that pistol again at some point, be a, a part of the Comanches or uh, it's in someone else's hands and then by the end you kind of see what happens um, uh, with it. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's a very good film. I enjoyed it uh, quite a bit. Uh, Hopefully, one day we will see um, uh, this film on um, Blu-ray or you know, 4K Blu-ray and you know, normal Blu-ray, all that stuff, in physical copy form. Um, I've seen people uh, on places like eBay and such, or places where you can sell stuff where apparently they have the film on physical disc, and all you have to do is place in order to buy it and uh i appreciate the sentiment of you know having the movie on like a blu-ray disc for instance at the same time i'm like well you know unless it's official i'm not i don't totally feel uh right in buying uh, a, a blu-ray that is basically bootlegged um and I've I've read and seen things online where maybe at one point, you know, Disney consider considering they now own Fox and now it's 20th Century Studios. But you know, if they ever decide to have uh, another, uh, or if they just like if this film did well, like in terms of like uh, how many people watched this film, it has a lot of views. Because, um, you know, it, this film did not come out in theaters. And I think if it did come out in theaters, it would have made a lot of money. And in fact, as I was watching it this time around, um, just maybe wish it did come out in theaters instead of just being on Hulu. Um, not that Hulu was bad, but, you know, it's like I, you, there are certain moments that I'm thinking would have been really great to see on a big screen, or at least have the opportunity to see on a big screen, whether or not one went to a movie theater to see this film. But, you know, I think that this film would have uh, done well uh, in theaters. You know, reviews have been pretty positive. People who have watched it have had an overall positive experience and I had a positive experience watching this film and yeah I wouldn't have minded to see this film on the big screen honestly it would have been cool uh, or at least have the opportunity to see it um, but it didn't and uh, while I've seen people have dispel some of the rumors of 
Disney thinking about releasing this fil this uh, uh, Prey on Blu-ray and 4K Blu-ray. I hope one day that that is true and they do release it. You know, just because I think that it would have it would make a lot of money, and I know a lot of people say, "Oh, physical media is dead," and this and that. But you know, obviously, I collect it, I collect physical media. Um, but all these other companies that do physical media, be it Criterion, Shout Factory, Arrow, uh, you know, whatever these, uh, uh, like, I guess, what might call boutique labels, as I've heard some describe them as, whether that is completely fitting or not is, I guess, up to you. But some of these uh, labels out there that really do great physical media, like, if you know, if they don't, if Disney, 20th Century Fox, or Studios, you know, whatever you want to call it, uh, I can't get over it not being called Fox anymore, but, you know, or if they don't want to release it on Blu-ray or uh, in any way, let one of these companies do that because, you know, they would give it just as great of a uh, treatment as uh, the official uh, studios do and um i'd be interested to see any and all the special features that that this film would have because the special features on all these films regardless of what you um uh think of them and enjoy uh, uh, some of them and some of them you might not enjoy so much uh i think they would uh i, I think this that would be uh, great it would also show that, yes, there is a demand for uh, physical media still. And I hope that happens. Uh, one thing I also want to say with a predator, uh, as I just, my mind just, uh, uh, this just came to me. Um, I've seen people uh, talk about how, why that film isn't as good and such as, or as bad or however people say like they're mixed. Obviously people are mixed. Some who enjoy it, some who don't. You know, I, I read that there's quite a bit of, uh, there's quite a bit of uh, studio interference. And, you know, I didn't get into all that because, well, you know, I've tried to, for these last couple films, like Prey, for instance, and Predator, The Predator, uh, try to give my experience on some of these films. And so I didn't want to delve too much into any behind the scenes stuff of what may or may not have gone on um but yeah it does regardless of whatever uh studio interference may have occurred with the predator i don't think that was the case here with prey so you know that's a that's good at least um and so yeah i enjoyed this film i uh would like to see more if more comes and um if so i'm great um be it a direct sequel to this film or again maybe some decades later or a century or so whatever the case may be i'd be curious to definitely see uh what they have in store for this franchise um, I've always enjoyed the Predator films, and, um, again, even the weaker ones, I find enjoyment of them, because, um, you know, they're not bad, uh, overall, in the terms of, like, the, they're, they all look very good, you know, they're not cheap, and, um, the people who make them seem to want to make the best movies possible, so that's a good thing, I would say. Whether or not they succeed is obviously another, <laughs> that's another uh, question, but Prey is a good film. They have a follow-up to it. I'd be curious to see uh, what that would be. Um, or if they do have a sequel uh, for Predator 6, I'd be all for it too. So regardless of whatever they do, I'm, I'd be interested in seeing uh, this uh, more to this franchise. 
So yeah, that's all I've got to say really. Um, this was really fun to go back and watch all these films. Um, every watch a film I'm not too f overly familiar with. Uh, too overly familiar with. Yeah, that's a great way, a uh, uh, great string of words. But yeah, I, I enjoyed this film quite a bit. And um, yeah. Uh, have you seen this film? Uh, if so, do you enjoy it? Or do you not enjoy it as much as others? Do you think it's deservingly praised or is it overly praised? Um, just like, I guess, in some of the, what are considered the weaker installments, uh, would you say Predator 2 and The Predator are, you know, deserving of some of the more critical aspects of them? Or perhaps in some instances there there's a bit people are a little too critical like maybe there is some justified uh, uh, critiques and how they're not as good as like the first predator or third or prey uh, or what or do you enjoy all of them for what they are uh, but perhaps some of them are weaker than the others but you know let me know your thoughts if you want to share any and yeah this was fun to just go through all these films um i've wanted to kind of uh do this sort of thing like when I talk about movies kind of go back to a couple times a week not just on friday so hopefully that's good uh, or this was good for this sort of format of discussing franchises um i hope to keep that up in the future um I kind of wanted to do that last year, but I just sort of thought, you know, I just want to keep the schedule sort of the same and be fairly consistent, not change too much because, you know, some people might thought, uh, or have thought that jarring, even a little bit. Uh, sometimes that happens. Um, but anyway, I hope you all enjoyed, uh, enjoyed this video or thought, uh, brought something of interest to it I don't know I kind of talked about it in a roundabout way and just how the predator just went and killed people like it normally does um, but very interesting in this uh, by having it in the century the 17th century or 1700s that would technically be uh, 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 18th century Anyway, um, hope you're all doing well. Hope all of you are having a, you know, a great day. Hope you'll have a great weekend and a great week. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.